Hello and welcome back to the channel. You guys are kind of sitting a little funky. I'm sorry if you see the little fuzzy. I'm trying to use my purse to stop the sun coming in. We are in the boyfriend's car because I'm in the process of getting a new car. That's going to be its whole other video on its own. It's really, really exciting. I'm really excited. It's actually been really stressful. It wasn't exactly perfect timing, but that's besides the point. Anyways, today I am going to go to Sephora and Ulta. As you can tell, you clicked on the video, didn't you? Okay. And, oh, I didn't even say, my name's Kiana. Hi. <laughs> uh, glad you're here. Subscribe if you guys like, I don't know, videos where I do anything to do with vlogs, beauty, curly hair, shopping. I also just do sit down chats sometimes, like we're on FaceTime, pretty fun. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Damn, he leans back. Hello, can you not? <laughs> He'd be leaning really far back. It was this or the minivan, and <laughs> I chose for his sedan instead. Okay, but we're gonna go to Sephora. What? Did, Sephora. I was thinking about it, and I remember my last Shop With Me video it did so well, and as awesome as that is. Also, I love shopping, so that's totally fine. I love going in and seeing what is new in Sephora, okay? I love doing that, especially Ulta Sephora. I just love going in and seeing what they have, messing around with makeup. It's like a dream come true for a girl like me. I, thanks to you guys, get sent way too much stuff to the point where my friends now have PR. My family has PR. My boyfriend has PR, and it's absolutely amazing, and I'm incredibly grateful for it. But with that being said, do I really need to go shopping for more makeup? No. So I was thinking about it and I was like, what could make this fun? <sighs> How many of you guys don't have a Valentine? Let me be your Valentine. Let me be your Valentine. Anyways. Anyways, I was thinking about it and I was like, let me be your Valentine. So everything I buy in today's video is actually going to be part of a Valentine's Day giveaway. Plus, I thought it would make for a really, really cute theme of everything pink and red and Valentine's Day themed. That way I stay on topic a little bit and I'm not just buying like absolute random stuff but I thought that that would be so, so fun. I may still buy like a few things here and there for me because there are a couple of things that I really do want, which of which I'm not on their PR list, which is totally fine. So yeah, let's go about doing that. Why am I speaking like Yoda? Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and drive over. It is a hot one today, oh my goodness. It's, it's February and I feel like we're getting not February worth, what? silent vlog from here on out okay hello hello i realized that our sephora has the loudest music ever and i did not want to get copyrighted so i'm just gonna do a little voiceover i hope you guys enjoy that so one thing you need to know about me is that i love glowy dewy makeup i'm not a huge foundation i don't really like heavy shadows i'm very very good on like just i want it to look like my skin but a little bit better i like enhancing my own features i love glossier skin tint i have the shade g9 but it's like two years old so i wanted to get a new shade that was maybe a little bit more wind her shade they were literally out so i actually opened up the bottom and was checking to see and was able to find some under there but i don't really know if sephora employees like when you do that if you're looking for really really good blush i haven't used this blush in so long but storm was my absolute favorite go-to if you're olive skin tone or like neutral to olive italian girls the berry shades are gonna look so good on you i even put it on my lips another brand that i'm absolutely obsessed with is say i've been meaning to try their foundation because apparently it's really great so far i only have their slip tint which is also amazing but they sent me all of the shades of their blushes so i was super super excited and one of my favorites is baby and you guys keep asking online what i think of it so you guys are getting one uh mario i have actually never tried anything from this brand and i want to but i'm a little bit worried that maybe it's going to be a little too cakey or like too makeup-y for me which is just a personal decision like if you like have your makeup that is all you and that's great i just don't really know if i would or not every single time i do heavy makeup i just feel like it doesn't look like me these lip liners though oh my goodness some of my friends have them and they are so amazing they stay put literally all day i've been so tempted to get them i just don't know which color i would want and i should have played around with them more in the store as well as these eyeshadow palettes if i did eyeshadow oh i would eat these up the metals the metallics or whatever they're called literally so pretty for why for what reason oh patrick ta another amazing palette again why is it so pretty why is it so pretty i need to learn how to do eyeshadow stuff so that i can actually mess around with these because i think that it could be really really fun also i was looking i want to know what lip shade she has on because she's absolutely beautiful and they just killed that lip shade but they didn't have it written anywhere i feel like if you have makeup on someone you need to have it in tiny tiny little letters so that i can see exactly what it is 
I saw Patrick Ta use this stuff on Alex Earl and it was really, really pretty. I just don't know if it would be sticky on the skin. So I put some on my hand and then I just kind of let sit for the rest of the day. Honestly, it wasn't that sticky. Another really pigmented blush, this one. Again, killed it with her makeup. I Patrick Ta's amazing. Okay, I was messing around with shades for contour with Fenty and I really can't figure it out. I feel like either it looks like dirt on me or it looks way too warm. And I have neutral undertones to olive undertones and I just can't find anything that was really hoping to work. Clinique, I didn't realize this was for a sold Clinique, but if you remember the black honey, it was viral on TikTok for a little and I still kind of wanted to try it out. Sadly, they were completely sold out of it, but I feel like it's another one that probably looks really pretty on everyone, especially olive skin tones. Okay, House Labs. I have heard the most amazing things about House Labs. A lot of makeup artists that I use are like, I model, so if you didn't know that, but a lot of makeup artists that I go and see, they all rave about this brand and especially about their foundations. Apparently the undertones are absolutely amazing. The finish, it's really buildable and their brushes apparently to die for. So I think I'll probably try them eventually. I'm just really happy with my foundation. Charlotte Tilbury, don't get me started. I really don't understand the brand. I don't understand the hype. I want to, but I don't. Every time that I use one of their products, it just makes my face look so texturized. I just, I don't know if anyone else has that problem. I feel like they don't because everyone loves this brand, but that's just my own personal experience with it. Why did no one tell me Kosas has a mascara? I literally never knew Kosa has had a mascara. I can't speak. I'm going so fast. Anyways, I love their bow, brow products. Jeez Louise. Also, their powder is really, really great. Benetint. I actually think I got you guys a Benetint. I wanted to get the full size, but they didn't have any as well as beauty blenders. We got to get beauty blenders. It was pink and it was just on theme. And I guarantee you haven't washed your beauty blender in like a year. So you need a new one. Summer Fridays, I had to get the pink one. We've been sold out. This is the most stocked I've ever seen a Summer Fridays lip balm section before. So I got two, one for you, one for me, because I really wanted to try it as well. The rest of Summer Fridays stuff, I like their jet lag mask. I will say it broke my face out, but it's nice for your hands and your body. The lip oils, I've heard Rosewood is really, really pretty. So I'm almost gonna try it, but I literally have, to, I have too many lip products. I don't know what it is, but something about this wall, immediate serotonin, immediate dopamine. I, I love it so much. I've been doing a lot of changes to my skincare recently, just kind of messing around with it. And I really wanted to try their grape water just to make sure that my face stays moisturized while I put everything on my skin, especially like snow mucin. One company I swear by, Polish Choice. Literally anything they sell, you can buy it and you can guarantee it's gonna work. It is so nice. Their niacinamide serum, it's my favorite. It keeps all the little bumps away from my face. Glow Recipe, I've actually never used this brand myself. However, their packaging is so cute and it makes me wanna buy it. I'm just really, really picky with my skincare. But I did, in fact, get you guys, I believe, the pomegranate polypeptides and then as well as the watermelon glow dew drops just because I know that apparently they are really, really great and also, they match the theme and i've just heard really really good things about the brand so you guys will have to let me know oh there's me ha <laughs> ha I always have to say hi. I know that I'm not doing body care and hair care, but Way smells so good, especially their St. Bart scent. Apparently they're coming out with a perfume soon. Ooh, I'm so excited. Their hair care, really great too. Their hair oil is killer as well as their hair masks. Amika, something that I love about Amika, no matter what thing you get, it all smells the same, which is actually kind of nice. I know some people don't like that. Personally, I love it. I love the Hydro Rush hair mask as well as the Soul Food. Those are my favorites. Hydro Rush, anything from the Hydro Rush line is really, really amazing. But yeah, I love that they all smell the same because sometimes you'll find something that works for your hair, but then you don't like it as much as a different scent. Ooh, the Wizard Detangler. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It works so well on my hair. I don't know how to explain it. Now that I've said everything in the store that I absolutely love, let's go over the things that in my experience are just not worth your money. Okay. I love Armani Beauty. I love a lot of things that they have to offer. Their foundation, their concealers, all of that, amazing. This, oh my God, not worth your money. It will make nothing stick to your face. It will peel off of your foundation. It's, I don't understand why they even made it. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It works, I guess, if you don't wear foundation at all or anything else. Take it from a girl who used to buy only expensive mascaras. I have now started doing drugstore mascaras and they are still so much better than the high-end mascaras. Don't waste your money on high-end mascaras. Just get drugstore, just get covered girl whatever it is another thing not to spend your money on the concealers from hourglass i love hourglass i will love them till the day i die their new lip liners so good their brushes to die for how many times have i said that to die for anyways i just don't really like their base products too much they're a little bit too drying for my skin i think i do have dry skin but i just love a dewy finish and these products just don't give me that dewy finish so if you like them please let me know because i think maybe i'm just applying them wrong 
I, I don't know. Not my favorite, but again, their lip products, so good. Eye pencils, so good. I will say though that I love their ambient lighting palettes. They are absolutely stunning. They are usually limited edition and I did not realize why they were limited edition. But little known fact actually is that Hourglass was one of the first luxury brands to go completely cruelty-free as well as they're on their path to being completely vegan, which is really, really amazing. But their ambient lighting palettes usually have an animal on the front of them. And I did not realize that the animal actually represents an endangered species that a majority of their profits are going to basically to rehabilitate and to protect them and kind of get like through lobbyists and that kind of thing. It really is amazing. So I do still have a lot of respect for this brand and I will still buy from them all the time. Power 28 is another company that I haven't really tried before. This one, don't get it. It broke me out. I've heard of it breaking out so many different people. I don't understand how it's not breaking people out. I don't even have that sensitive of skin, but it breaks me out. I have wanted to try a brown lip gloss for so long, but every single time that I do some sort of brown lippy on me, I hate it. I feel like it just looks so dumb. I just don't think I have the right skin tones to pull it off, or maybe it's like the right lip shade to pull it off. I I don't know. I want to try some of Tower 28's other stuff though. Ooh, perfumes. I love, 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 love perfumes. Okay. The Carolina Herrera. Is that what it is? Good girl. I love those scents. Burberry Goddess. It's by far my favorite scent. However, it doesn't last very long on your skin, which is really irritating. It lasts so long on your clothing. Burberry, anything Burberry makes though, I think smells really, really good. Then, ooh, the Gucci Flora. Personally, my favorite one is the pink one. However, a lot of my friends have the blue and purple and it smells really, really good on them as well. I just think it smells like spring and summertime. Now, Next up, the Love by Killian, I think. Yes, Love by Killian, don't be shy. It smells so good, like marshmallowy, very sweet. Apparently that's what Rihanna wears. I did not know that, but every single time I've seen an interview, they're always like, Rihanna smells so good. She smells so good. That's apparently why Daisy perfume. If you like Daisy perfume, please, please, please explain it to me because I just don't get the hype. I just think it smells so bad. I don't understand. Oh, I got you guys Glossier, uh, Glossier U because it's it's really good. I love it. I wear that one all the time. And then I think I also got the Sol de Janeiro 68 scent. I just got the little mini pack that you can have just because it was on theme. And also I really love this scent on all of my friends they all wear it and i was like why haven't i bought this myself yet hello beautiful girls it's actually what two or three days later but i wanted to show you guys something i got a few pr packages in the mail since we last spoke and i was thinking about it and i was like girl i have way too many lip products and as thankful as i am that fenty came through i figured i would just add this into the giveaway so this is also going to be in the giveaway you are getting the new Kalahari Melon, oh that was upside down, Kalahari Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask as well as the Vanilla Scent, ah, there we go, then the Kalahari Melon Hydrating Lip Oil as well as the Barbados Cherry, then the new Fuchsia Flex Glossy Balm, Fussy Glass Slipper, and then Lemon Lava, Lemon Lava, the Gloss Balm Heat Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper. I thought this was perfect for Valentine's. Is it not? Okay. I think it is. Cause what's this more of like, I'm ready for Valentine's day than some juicy lips, right? Next up, Rode. I actually, this is the empty box. So Rode sent me their new pineapple refresh cleanser. I actually got the cleanser sample that they sent quite a few influencers and I've been using it for the past two weeks. So I actually just ran out. So this was perfect timing, but I also just decided to take all the other goodies that were in here as well. But she did send her calendar and I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my goodness, this would be great to include in the giveaway. Crazy thing, they accidentally sent me two boxes. <laughs> so one of you will also be getting the entire PR box from Rode as well as her 2024 calendar. I have to say she looks absolutely amazing in this entire calendar. I want to be her. Um, but yeah, you will just get everything that comes in it. I will just have this all like in a separate little box for you, but I thought that that would also be great. If any other PR comes in in the meantime, again, I may just include it in. I love when PR comes in, but I thought this was literally so perfect because I was like, oh my goodness, I want these road products, but I also want someone else to have the road products. And then there's two on my doorstep, two. So thank you for the mess up road. My followers probably very much appreciate it. So I still think that I am going to go into Target and get the Awala water bottle, but there is something else very important that is happening today, so I will do it once the important thing is happening. Okay, I love you.